my piece in the show, which is called Hilitla. Uh, it was made in 2010 um, in the Huasteca in Mexico, which is where I've lived for um, over 30 years now. And the piece, as you see, is a vertical piece uh, filmed on 2 perf 35 millimeter, and then uh, transferred to video. Um, Hilitla is the name of the town in the Huasteca, but the place where I filmed is called Las Posas. And Las Posas was um, set up from the 1960s to the 80s by um, an English eccentric and a frustrated poet called Edward James who came to Mexico in those years. And he built all these fantastic structures, um, uh, onirical structures out of concrete, uh, kind of staircases that kind of go nowhere, almost gothic style structures which um, he surrounded with um, some uh, plants, orchids, which he bought from other places and the kind of natural jungle of the Huasteca itself. So the idea of his place was that eventually these structures would fall back into nature um, and kind of be ruins in reverse and nature would consume the structures themselves. Um, so my piece is a 12 minute video which has many kind of layers in it. Um, uh, it's a very kind of disjuncted narrative and it dismantles really um, James's vision or kind of exoticization of, um, of landscape. So one of the principal kind of motifs in the film is a, a mirror and um, I took the use of the mirror from um, Robert Smithson's use of mirrors uh, specifically in a piece in the Yucatan which he made where he used mirrors to kind of um, displace the gaze. So this idea of the displacement is, is, is quite often used throughout the film. Um, there's lots of references to kind of monumentality, uh, which Dan Flavin um, speaks of um, in, through his work. There's um, almost kind of surrealist interventions in the film. Um, there's a kind of a blue filter which I use mostly throughout the film. It was filmed a lot at night and a lot at early morning, so the blueness, I think, adds to this kind of sort of slightly gothic sensation throughout the film. I think the sound is also something really important in my film, where the sound is used in tangent to um, the image that we see, so we don't often get to see sync, the sync between um, sound and image. Um, I use sometimes um, Kurt Switter's or Sonate, which is kind of reference to uh, the Merzbau, his, his piece, where there's a kind of, for me at least, there was a tangent in um, the relationship between James's structures and Switter's. I use sound, I suppose, in this kind of alienating way where when we're seeing something, we're hearing something else. So the construction of Helitla itself is this kind of constellation of um, coming from many uh, historical references that kind of come together in one dismantled narrative.